we're going to bring you to this area here of northwest San Antonio, a beautiful area which has been under a microscope. The issue is over plans to build a wastewater treatment facility right over the Holotus Creek watershed. Some researchers warn that that could contaminate the drinking water for you, me, and the two and a half million other people who depend on it. One expert points to something that happened 25 years ago when seven people died and thousands got sick after bacteria got into the water supply. And he spoke with our Sarah Acosta about this new potential project. San Antonio gets its drinking water from the Edwards Aquifer. It's a karst or limestone system. Limestone, like the rock that I'm standing on, but underground. And this rock is porous and extremely delicate. And it's what the Holotus Creek watershed is made up of, right here, in our aquifer system. Lennar Corporation has proposed building a 3,000 home development over this area. That would require a wastewater treatment plant, which would dump treated sewage into our aquifer system. Researchers and neighbors have been fighting this for years. Dr. George Venny is one of the top experts on car systems in the world. Karst is rock that's been dissolved by water, creating holes. He says any contaminant in this system can be deadly. He points to an incident in Canada where a farmer spread manure over the land and it rained a lot. That bacteria got into the limestone water system. As a result, seven people died and about 2,300 people became ill. In principle, in a certain sense, nobody did anything wrong except for one thing, they did not understand that this was a cursed area. Whether it's manure or the wastewater facility failing and the, you know, a bit of E. coli getting into that water and into our car system, why should we be concerned? The situation that happened in Canada is just telling us how sensitive the aquifer is to pollution and what the repercussions could be if the aquifer is polluted. Bill Pack lives right on Holotus Creek. When I heard about that report, it was, it was pretty shocking. I mean, I hadn't heard about people dying before. He and his wife have been fighting this development for years. If it gets contaminated, we're gonna be threatened in probably several different ways. So it's, no, it's not a good feeling at all. Benny says whatever happens with the proposed wastewater treatment facility, he says safety of the community should be the priority. I uh, want to make sure that we understand how sensitive it is and we need to have the proverbial seatbelt and airbag, you know, both working together uh, to protect our water supply. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. This is part of a larger conversation. Earlier this week, we ran a case that explains on um, the proposed Guajolote Ranch development in Northwest Bear County and why it's facing backlash. And in response to that story, Lennar, which is the corporation behind this project, sent us the statement that you see on your screen. It says in part, quote, Lennar is taking extraordinary steps to protect water quality in the aquifer contributing zone with a wastewater treatment plan that meets all the requirements in the water service agreement with SAWS, who will provide water to the community. Our facility will be among the most advanced of the area's dozen or so treatment plants already operating over the contributing zone. You could scan that QR code on your screen to read the full statement from Lennar and also watch the story.